I don't know if you guys can see it. My daughter is just going down the road. Summer stopped this morning. She goes, hey dad, I got you something. She got me a bag of Reese's. I'm gonna put these in the little tiny house in the freezer like yesterday. I was looking for a snack and now I have my snack. I'm looking around seeing which farmers are running dryers. Cooper thinks we're the only one in the whole world drying corn right now, but I can see different neighbors with all kinds of steam coming out of there. So that's a pretty good sign that there's some corn dryers going. And when I came home last night, I could hear all the dryers. God, we'd like to see the corn dry down so we could put it right in the bin. We're gonna head, hey, I see a shadow there. I wonder who was in my shop. It's me. Hi, me, how you doing? Daddy Cornstar, I'm coming in to see ya. It's kind of cool though when you get to see your own shadow. I wonder if that means seven more weeks of warm weather. I hope so. I hope we get a lot of nice weather yet. I'm not ready for winter. It makes a lot of work digging this stuff out, but we're hired to do a job and we do it with respect and carefulness. I'm not really sure where they were moving. It was a mom and dad. They were moving them to a different cemetery, but you know, for like us, we do our job. It's not for us to ask why or anything like that. Each person has their own reasons to do stuff like this. So like I said, we take pride we took our time, it took us almost six hours, but we just wanted to be careful so we didn't break things. When you're in a hurry, stuff like this, you don't want to get in a hurry with. Well, there we go, guys. Two vaults that been in the ground for over 40 years, going to a new home. You won't believe the dirt to dig out too. So we'll push all this dirt back in, then we'll go down dirt pile, get more dirt. One was buried in 1981, and one was buried in 1983. Three. They're gonna go to a different cemetery. Cole's just being real careful just to lightly push over the grass so we ain't hurting the grass to try to bring plywood up for this job. It would have been so, so hard. We were so spread out with the dirt and then jumping around with the backhoe. It just, 
it would make it very, very hard. And then something that's kind of a bad deal for us, like there's a stone there. Then you get stones out here that from one side to the other side, we get stones in the middle in the winter time. That makes it really, really hard. Because from like that stone there, out eight feet or so, there could be a body. From that stone out eight feet or so, there's a body. So we always gotta make sure we keep them hooked in because they're almost touching from end to end. If you get off a little bit, it can make it hard to get the other one in. But then in the winter time, you come through with this skid loader trying to push snow, these kind of stones we can't see. I did not film any of that stuff because I figured that was kind of, you know, something like this is special. And I don't know this circus sand, whatever you want to say, but I figured this is kind of the family's time to do what they want. So I respect all that. So I suppose from the time we loaded up this morning, like I said, we were here over six hours just get things dug up. From the time we loaded this morning and we get this covered up, we'll probably be gone at least eight hours now this we will have to come back i'm sure this like i said is a big big hole so we'll have to come back a little later when it settles in springtime it'll probably settle quite a bit so we'll repack her in don't know if the family's going to sell the lot or if someday down the road another family might use a lot we don't know but with a big hole like this dug on both sides and the ends deep we'd have to have a fresh grave here in the next say a couple years that's where it makes it hard you're gonna have a lot of dirt caving in but it can be done Ugh. now like right now what Cole's doing I know sometimes we've had a few people like I don't want you driving on the grave I don't want you but like here this skid loader is almost 11,000 pounds we have to get that dirt pushed back in because if we wait for a rain and we just put the dirt back in the grave it's gonna settle two three feet so we'd rather try to get it back to natural state as quick as we can. Kind of like this stone here. They're buried here and then they put a stone down there or they might be buried on the other side, but they put it on top of a fresh grave. So now the dirt is bringing down the stone. You can see how bad it sunk down. And then the other ones are more straight. This is where we've seen it many times. We'll get a call. Hey, the stone is sunk big time. We called the company that put it in. And, you know, at the time they're like, oh, if it sinks, we'll take care of it. Now they said they won't. Will you take care of it? It's hard for us to do stuff like that. We, we really don't. But it's like chances of it settling on a fresh grave is almost 100%. A lot of stuff goes on here at the cemetery that we don't really think about. Like here, right now with Cole running it over with the tracks on the skid loader, he's basically going to be able to get this grave looking nice and flat. But that's about what we got to do with winter coming on. Hopefully not for another three months, but it will be here before we know it. All done at the cemetery. We got things loaded up. Overall, everything went really, really good. It's one of them things, like I said, just gotta take your time and uh, put when you're removing something that's been in the ground for so long. Honestly, you gotta remember guys, weather, ground, dirt, it all takes its toll on things. It seems like the vaults are built really tough, but one never knows. One never knows. All right, guys, well, thank you for coming along on the cemetery here, just kind of filling you in what we go through. The beeping noise you hear, it ain't my heart machine. I don't have a heart machine, but it's actually the air brakes filling up here in the semi. Noisy little things, but I gotta head back home now. Thank you guys for tagging along and kind of nice to fill you in. What goes on in the cemetery? I wanna wait a second here before the beeping quits. But I wanted to thank everybody for tagging along kind of nice to kind of tell some of the stuff that goes on at the cemetery it is totally interesting at times and you know we see and things out here that a lot of people never even know that goes on in cemetery we're proud to do the job and I guess honored too well that's the end of this video guys thank you so much for tagging along and we'll be talking to you soon but I'm gonna be driving and hey don't forget to subscribe and leave comments. I love the comments.